Okay, so Fever 21 is getting closer and closer. Let's check out some teams and give you guys some inspirations with teams you can get at the start. Are you sick and tired of facing teams like this and yours not being good enough? Well, look no further. Head over to u 7 buys for some cheap, safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout with the link in the top line of the description for 5% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title today, we are looking at some more FIFA 21 teams that you guys can rock at the start that some of you guys are looking to rock at the start. I know last video, a lot of you guys were slating me like, how is the team that I built even a starter team, what the hell are you even on about? But basically, I'm basing it off how many FIFA points I plan on spending. It might have been a bit over the top, so what I'm gonna do today is make a new team that's at least a little bit cheaper and probably more reachable and affordable. But like I said, I'm spending a fair few FIFA points. At the moment, I've got about, I think, 100,000 FIFA points loaded up, ready for early access. So hopefully, I'll make a decent amount of coins from that. If not, then, uh... Yeah, I don't really know what to say. I mean, last year I didn't even pack like a special card or even an icon out of like the first 100k fever points. I don't actually think I packed an icon till about December time. And I spent a, quite a lot of fever points leading up to December. So yeah, that's basically why I kind of made a fairly expensive team. I know it's not really a starter team, but I'm just trying to show you what team I'm planning on rocking at the start. But like I said, for this video, I've gone ahead and tried to make a more affordable team, something that is more achievable, but still fairly expensive because of the amount I'm spending at the start. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments how many fever points you plan on spending at the start, or if you're not spending fever points, if you're doing the road to glory, let me know as well. Let me know your plans in the comments. I will be doing a fever point giveaway closer to the release, so sometime next week. Keep your eyes out for that. If you're not following me on Twitter, it'll be linked in the description. Go ahead and follow me on there because I'll probably will be tweeting that out on there and probably put it on the community tab on YouTube as well. So yeah, that's really enough of me talking. We're going to get ourselves straight into the teams. Like I said, we're going to build a new one for me first and then we'll get into some of your guys' teams as well. So let's get into this and then I'll see you guys after. All right, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and build another team. I know a lot of you guys complained last time because I called my team a starter team, but basically I'm putting a fair few people points on at the start. It's like basically what I want to be my starter team for the first weekend league. There's one triangle that I've liked the look of that I've seen across Twitter and everywhere. So I'm going to actually have to change the formation to be able to get that triangle. And I believe the 4 through 3 bracket 3 allows me to do that. And that is the Real Madrid left side of CDM, left back and left centre back. And... If we put them in, we've got Mendy, Farla Mendy, Varane, obviously all Ramos, obviously choice is yours, and then Valverde. Like, genuinely, that triangle is looking disgusting. That Valverde card genuinely looks incredible. All right, so like I keep pointing out, this is going to be my team after spending a fair few FIFA points. So, going on to the rest of the team, I would love to have another solid right-hand side of the defense. So, actually, let's go with the, let's go with the centre-back first. Mr. Virgil van Dijk would be nice. Probably a little bit. I'm probably like thinking way too much here. So maybe not a Van Dijk, but I would like a Juan Basaka as my right back choice. And we're going to bring in a bit of uh, Bruno Fernandes over here. And then we need another centre back to link. Uh, obviously not a United centre back because we have literally like Maguire. And uh, it's not too great. Not the greatest of choices. Joe Gomez is not a bad shout though, which I've just seen in my Twitch chat. And I think that could be the one to go with. And then goalkeeper wise, we could just chuck in Mr. Lloris, who obviously links to both Varane and Gomez and gets them on the chemistry needed. Looking interesting so far. So looking already fairly expensive. And I would like to go with what I went before in my previous video, which is Mbappe Neymar. But I'm going to switch it up this time and actually going to move Bruno over here and bring in Van der Beek. Not that it makes actually any difference, but um, Van der Beek's going to come in there alongside Bruno. And then striker, I might go with the man Martial. He's got a very nice looking starting card here. A base card, I should say. 89 pace, 87 dribbling, 83 shooting, 41 defending, 74 passing, and 72 physical. Looking like it could be a very good card to use. And then wingers wise, if the transfer goes through and if it's even there at the start, I would go for Mr. Sancho. But obviously at the moment, he's got a Dortmund card, so we'll stick by that. And I'm going to throw in one of the new Premier League players in Gareth Bale, who's probably going to be fairly expensive as well at the start. I've got to use him. I'm obviously a part of the 11's esports team. And it'd be pretty cool if he's a good card. Hopefully he will be. I mean, it depends obviously all down to gameplay, etc. And then left wing, I don't think we have too many options. We could either go for a French left winger in a St. Maximin, actually. That could be uh, using that left wing. Or we could go for like an Usman Dembele. Obviously, Maximin being the, probably the cheaper option. Maybe not, actually. Um, but obviously, Usman Dembele this year being a left winger. So either of them two could fit in. Or 
as my chat has just said, Rashford. Um, but obviously Rashford is definitely going to be more expensive than St. Maximin. Would be a nice card to use. Actually completely forgot about Rashford. So maybe we go with Rashford on that left wing. But yeah, once again, another team that we've gone ahead and built that we could use at the start of FIFA. A little bit cheaper than the last one. Obviously we had Mbappe and Neymar in the last one. A bit maybe too ambitious. So yeah, that's probably a bit more affordable than the previous one I did in my previous video. Also still looking very, very nice and hopefully will do well at the start for the first weekend of Foot Champions. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of your guys' teams. Uh, big shout out to all you guys that I linked them on the Twitch. Obviously, some of these teams hopefully will be nice and give you guys some inspiration that are watching this video on teams you could build at the start. Obviously, we don't have the full database, but up to like 77 kind of rated players are actually out. I think like the top 1,000, I think it is so far. So let's look through some more of these teams and hopefully give me and you guys some inspirations for teams you can use at the start. All right, first one up, we've got Sam Strom from the Twitch. He's gone for a good old Bundesliga team here. Some nice looking Bundesliga players. And Babu always stands out to me. Um, always a nice looking right back at the start. I mean, he's got the pace. He's got good strength. He's fairly tall as well. So if headers are good, he should be fairly decent in the air. Schulz on the other hand, on the left back. Got a bit of pace about him as well. So nice, so nice pacey fullbacks to keep up with the pacey wingers that you'll probably end up coming against. Um, but the defense is looking good. Akanji's always good at the start. Delaney's usually a very, very solid card. The Abbey obviously up there as well. Bella Rabi always sitting up there with some nice pace. And Bolo not got that bad of a looking card either. So yeah, that's not too bad of a Bundesliga team. A basic Bundesliga team, but looks pretty solid if you ask me. All right, so next up we've gone from full Bundesliga to full Premier League. And this is from Raihan. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. Full Premier League, as you can see, some nice expensive cards in there probably. Um, Zaha is probably going to be fairly expensive at the start. I believe he's still five-star uh, skills. He is. So that will probably be a fairly expensive uh, card. Mares in there. Not the paciest this year. Jesus is always expensive at the start. So he's going to cost a fair bit. Lo Celso, Sissoko, nice in there. Rodri should be a solid CDM at the start. Not too much pace to deal with. Obviously should be all right. Um, should be able to handle the basic cards at the start. Davison Sanchez and Ake should be fairly solid. Walker, obviously always really good at the start. 85 rated this year as well. Turn, he's got the pace as well. And Pope. All right, next up, we've got my man Fatowski. A very expensive looking team. As you can see, actually our first hybrid of the video as well. He's got a bit of Bundesliga in there down the right-hand side. And then the left-hand side is Premier League. And obviously Canton are linking both the Bundesliga and the Premier League up. Martial, like I put in my team, looks like a solid card. Sancho could be a Premier League player. At the start, you never know. We'll see. Um, Luke Shaw could be changed for Tellers. Um, Luke Shaw's never really the greatest on FIFA, I can't lie. And Tellers who moves to United, that would definitely be a nice play to put in instead of probably him. But he's got that Akanji and Mbappé link up there. Again, Boy still got 74 pace, so not bad. Van der Beek in there. Pulisic looking tasty. But that's not that bad of a team. All right, next one up, we've got Campbell. We've got actually a three-league hybrid. We're going up and up and up here. Uh, this is actually looking really nice. He's gone ahead and got Neto, Eda Militao linking up at the back there. Then Kappa, Lorente as well. That Lorente obviously having a massive pace upgrade this year. Then he's got the Klosterman, Schulz, Chan, Triangle uh, link up of strong links, which is looking nice. And then Adama Traor on that right wing, who links to both Martial and Lorente, or Lorente, how you pronounce him. Then also a hyperlink. At that centre mid slot with uh, Emre Chan or Can, however you pronounce it, which is good. And then Maximin getting the strong French link on that left wing. That's been the most like advanced squad we've seen so far, and I like it. It's got some very, very nice cards in there. All right, next up, we've got It's Yaserbi with his team. Rocking a three-league hybrid again. That's, uh, that's always nice to see. So he's got the league on, uh, going from goalkeeper to left centre-back to left back. Uh, Kamara definitely looking like a good left back at the start of this game. Diallo is usually fairly solid at the start as well. Then also going over to the right-hand side, he's got Bundesliga in Canate. I think that might be the only Bundesliga player he's got. Yeah, that's the only Bundesliga player he's got. But then he's got Malqui on that right back. Right centre mid is Rabiot. Right wing is then Lozano. And then right striker is Ogiman. Obviously the Napoli link between them two. Then also alongside him, he's got Michel Antonio. Uh, four star skills, three star weak foot. Not a bad looking card. Always got a bit of pace at the start. Felipe Anderson at the 81 rated. That's a, a fair big downgrade, I want to say. Was he 84 last year? Yeah, 84. So a three, a minus three downgrade there for Anderson. But still a good looking card. And Bele probably will be solid. Him or Sissoko you could put in there. But yeah, that's a nice looking team once again. Not as advanced as the last one, but still... 
looking fairly solid and probably a bit cheaper than um, the last one as well. So yeah, that's a nice looking team. All right, next up on the list, we've got the man Milan underscore NL. A lot of different players that we haven't really seen in this team um, here. So the goalkeeper and the back, actually the whole back four and goalkeeper, completely different. We haven't seen that yet. Hamoso's got a bit of pace about him. Martinez, 71 pace, should be all right at the start. Ismaili's got 82 pace. I'm not even going to pronounce the right back. I'm, I, I attempted it, but we'll ignore it. Not looking bad either. Obviously gives him that strong link to them. That Anthony is a nice looking right wing card for this year. Tyson obviously got a bit a pace. Tanali probably will be fairly solid. I mean, 80 pace, good defending, fairly decent passing. Could be a good, cheap beast at the start. Chiesa and Kessie then linking in front of him. Rebic always looking nice. I think the skills just lacking him. But yeah, this is a different team. I like to see different teams. Hopefully a bit more inspiration for you guys of something else you could go with, but not looking bad once again. All right, so on to my man Smithy's team. I think this is once again a three league hybrid. Things you love to see. Um, the back four looking nice. That Klosterman has got a really nice starting centre-back card. That's probably going to be a little bit expensive because of the pace. Um, but that once again, that triangle of German strong links there of Klosterman, Schulz and Chan. Looking good. Obviously, Galaski in goal. And then the right-hand side of Kappa, Fernandez, Lorente looking good as well. Looking like a nice, strong link triangle. Then central midfield, Deli Alley. He could be moving to PSG or somewhere else. So you might not be able to get that link. However, you can switch that out for like a Sissoko and then Dumbele. Uh, or something like that. So that's always all right. And then Bergevine, Lucas, and Calvert-Lewin to finish it off. Incredible wingers. I'm not too sure what Calvert-Lewin will be like, but Bergevine and Lucas will be probably solid at the start of the game. And, uh, and also two different players we haven't seen yet. So I like to see that. And it's a nice looking strong team. All right, on to the next team. My man Ben Pegg with this team. Definitely looking very expensive in terms of the, the front three. Um, Dembele, Yedda, Di Maria, and also St. Maximin. Obviously left mid in that left centre mid role. Um, he will obviously be a fair bit. The defence looking solid. Probably once again expensive. Mendy would definitely be a lot of coins. I mean, he's had an upgrade better than his card at the start of last FIFA. And that was already disgusting. So that is going to be interesting. All right, next up, my man, Wazo has given us his team, the team that he wants to get at the start. Different defence, um, apart from Fernandez, that I think we've seen him uh, once. In terms of the centre-backs, Diego Carlos and Rulli um, linking up there. And Gaia, I don't think we've seen him yet. Obviously, Mbappé we've seen because that card is ridiculous. A nice, strong link to Zakaria. This Zakaria card is looking very solid. 83 rated. Looks like it could be a BCDM card. Like, honestly, that card is looking incredible. Obviously, then he's also got that Lorente card, which we've already talked about. Looks sick. A very, very nice upgrade from what he previously had. Jao Felix in there as well, which I assume you probably will play as a central cam, which I think would work out best. Obviously, the five-star uh, skills, and he's got four-star weak foot, I believe, as well. And then the front three of Maximin, Wilson, who's had a, a bit of a pace downgrade, and also, obviously, Sancho, who's had a pace downgrade. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Five-star skillers. I always love to see them. I think he's got three in that team. Looking good for the start of FIFA. All right, so to end it off, my man, Matt, very good friend of mine, he's dropped his team. He's a Spurs fan, so obviously you're going to see Mr. Bale in the team. Like, if you're a Spurs fan and you're not using Bale near the start, what are you doing? But going through the rest of the team, he's got the Upper Meccano, Klosterman, uh, link up there. Obviously, the strong link, very, very nice. He's got Borman. He's got another Spurs player at right back in Doherty, left back. Theo Hernandez, which I think a lot of people forget about because they look at the file of Mendy, who obviously, who obviously sorry, is sick. This is definitely going to be a cheaper alternative for Mendy. Uh, this card 92 pace obviously a good defensive as well should be solid and then the midfield Rabio Sissoko and Dombele French across it and all looking solid I do like all of them cards and hopefully Rabio will be decent at the start Sissoko is always obviously good and Dombele hopefully should be good and then left wing he's got Douglas Costa right wing like I said Bale and striker Richarlison who does still have five star weak foot yeah he does um but overall a nice looking Team. So yeah, there we go then, boys. We've looked through a load of your guys' teams out. Obviously, the team we built at the start as well. Hopefully, it's given you guys some inspiration for your starter teams that you might rock. Obviously, FIFA comes out next week, or sorry, early access through the EA Play, which I'm definitely looking forward to. What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments your top three players you are excited to use this FIFA. It doesn't have to be the three most expensive, just three that you think look like they could be incredible on this game. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.